and second record is now starting. So the second record is starting on this one. Which can share one. So in your phone, okay? Well, no see this one. Okay. <clears throat> but the manage process is same. Also. So here I will not put the process name, and then here I will not drop down, and then I will not choose the no scheduling. So no scheduling is a workflow which you customize when you go. Click on it. Click on OK. Now hours is written actually. We are written hours now. Let me the previous one has might have got converted now. Let me go on and save it actually. Otherwise I will be losing it actually. Click on it. So let me save it. Now put it in the corner. So uh, call the diffusion and then let me save it now. So now save. So this is it. Fine. Yet whatever you go there and then it will now come back. So now the condition is ready. The if condition and then the do conditions, uh, Vignesh, try to find out the list of values actually. That is very important. So we now get done it now. If this is going to be no scheduling, then our no scheduling workflow will fire actually. So click on save and close now. Save and close. Yeah. Now you can see that this is not coming. So this has to have a green icon first of all. If you have a green icon, then only we can publish it. Otherwise, if you publish it, the green icons only will be published. It is not having a gray icon. So click on it and then we will know. What happens? Activate the rule, and then we'll not give a start date as today. Click on it. We'll not give a start date as today, and then give a save and close. Now. By which it know the green icon will know. As soon as you activate the start date, what happens? You'll be getting a green icon over there. So it's not a, now publish all the green icons. Actually, and click on publish. So click on yes now. It will all be published. So we have run the or manage orchestration process assignment rules. We have now created our own rule and then publish. Click on it. No that. So give it. What happens? A close. And then preferably, what happens? You give it save and close. When right? log out and log in, because a change has been made. A major change has been made. Sign out and sign in. Sign out and then sign in. Sign out. Now let us now go and then get a sales order. Go to the order management and then go to the order, order management. Now this time you will now see the scheduling will not be there. So click on create order. I will now populate the custom over here. So K99, cust1 is the one. And then I will now put the standard order over here. Before I putting it, I will now populate the order type. Click on order type. So if you choose it, the different do will be coming in now. So K scheduling, no scheduling. I am now populating the order type. It will now process in a different workflow actually. So K99 underscore STD and then we will give a tap. We will go one quantity here. So the line level is now coming. <clears throat> we will now add it to the line. So click on it, add now. And then I have not given the customer in the okay, warehouse in the customer. I go to the supply and then I will now populate the customer you know, to K99 and then I will now populate from this child one. I am going to run it now. I will now save and then submit. This time you can see the scheduling will not be there at all because this order type is not having any scheduling. Right? Click on submit. You are not going to have any scheduling at all. So we are now submitting this now. Fine. 382 is now getting submitted now. So click on OK. Go to the actions and then go to switch to fulfillment view. <clears throat> so here. I will now go to the fulfillment view and then have a look at it. Now. I will now have a look at it. So you can also see the scheduling itself is not there at all. It is not going to begin with the reserve actually. So click on refresh now. So reservation is started now. And then afterwards, it will now go to awaiting shipping actually. It will now start it. And then what happens? It will be progressing the awaiting shipping. Now I am going to customize the do for no reservation actually, but scheduling will be essential. Scheduling will be yes, but no reservation. It is now reserved now. Fine. The tick mark will be coming, and then it will now go to the awaiting shipping actually. So the next part is what I am now going to customize the do for no <coughs> this thing. No reserve, and then it will now go to awaiting shipping. Now let us now go and then have a look at the stock now. First of all, I click on the home and look on the stock of this now. And then we will now customize the reservation. So supply chain execution, and then I go to the inventory management. So on the inventory management, I go there, <coughs> and then click on it now here. Go there, click on it, and then I will now go to the minute item quantities, and then have a look at the stock. So key ninety nine underscore std, and then give a tab now. This time, order from click on search now. 
they getting now more the expanded no so we have what organization k92 we have a 10 stock now and then here k91 what happens we have this 990 stock you click on the view item availability it will now say how much is available for reservation now and click on the view availability how much is available so total is 995 available to transact is 989 if i know that available to reserve is also 989 so available transactions are now if i create a sales order for 1000 quantities scheduling will pass but reservation will fail actually because the default do is for scheduling and reservation we will now create a sales order for the same item for 1000 quantities we will see what happens and click on account now go on and give, click on the account we will now create a new sales order right click on that what happens duplicate it we will now create a new sales order so we will now go to the order management and then here i will now go to the order management for this item i will now go for it and click on create now <clears throat> customer is k99 customer one now go there and then here i will not put it now i will not go on and put it <coughs> so here item is what k99 and score pstd you tap now. so click on add now. go there and then i will not populate the arrows over here now. supply arrows i will put now k99 child one i will put And then I will not make what in this place thousand quantities now. I will not change the quantity to thousand now. So here scheduling will now pass, but reservation will fail actually. So give a save and then submit it now. You can now see the scheduling is passing, and then the reservation is going to fail. In the previous case, what happened? We can now see uh, it has gone to this place now. Go to this order. Three thousand eight hundred. So here, if you go to this place, it is okay. The manager orders click on it now. 383 was submitted now. So 383 was submitted. So go to the actions and then you go to the what's called switch to fulfill view. And then have that. 383 is the one is now submitted. So go to the fulfill lines and then click on the order of construction process. Scheduling will pass and then uh, the reservation is going to fail now. It is not saying scheduled now. It is already scheduled. Click on the refresh now. Scheduled is going to give you the scheduled ship date and scheduled the arrival date actually. That is the function of it now. So scheduled there. But since there is no quantity, the workflow will fail actually. It will not say reservation is not there. So it is no reservation has started, but it is going to fail. You cannot see it has failed. There is another way of doing it now. I know that reservation it has now failed because we don't have sufficient quantity. So it will never get interface to what happens. Your shipping execution wrong. So what you can do is there is one more way. I know that duplicate. That one we will not do. I know first we will now populate the stock. I know that we will now go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. And then here what happens? We go there. I click on it. I will now create a miscellaneous transaction for this one. Is that K ninety nine entering now? K ninety nine one now entering. So let us now populate the stock now. And remember, whenever you make any change, you have to do the correction refresh. And then here it is not the case actually. You go to the middle and it is up now. And then I will now populate that one. So make it as what yes now. <clears throat> and then click on plus now. And then here is that K ninety nine underscore E S T D. And then go to Apple. I will now populate some higher quantities. Some one final quantities, but order management will not sense it. Order management will not sense this new quantity. If I click on submit now, so by which we are now having find more quantities now. If I go to click on it and then you will now have a look at it. So we have thousand requirement. If you go to the manage item quantities, what happens? Go there and then put the item over here now. K ninety nine underscore yes td. I go there now and then click on search. You have item available is there now. Go there. And then keep a cursor on the sub one, and then click on the view item already. We have available to transact, and available reserve is more than thousand. So even if you give a reserve, it will not come. So normally, what we do is in this place, we do the collection and refresh. And go to the supply chain planning, and then go to the planning inputs. We will now do the collections, and then followed by a refresh, refresh, and then refresh and start order processing. If you go to the collect planning data, what happens? You can now do this. <clears throat> you will now do the. This is called static data, and then this is called the dynamic data. Fine. After choosing, what happens? It will be coming. So in this case, there is no need to collect at all. Any changes on the dynamic data, we can run a concurrent and then make the order management sense it now. But not for the static data. If there is any change on the static data, you have to collect. Fine. If there is any new item is added or anything structure is added or any customer is added, you have to collect it now. But not for the supplies actually. In the supplies, same. 
any supplies has got changed what happens we can now uh, run a concurrent and then make the order management sense so it now i'm going to click on it i forgot on the concurrent again <laughs> one second and in course i'll not give a concurrent there's a concurrent you can run now there's something on real time updates actually go that and then go to the schedule now. so here we will now run a concurrent for a dynamic data i'm going to that it's a real time update now real time Update. Give it, that. it is a start real time update. So if you run this concurrent, any changes on supply will be communicated to order management immediately. Start real time supply update. No need to collect and refresh. Okay. 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 No, this we can schedule it. Yeah, we can also schedule this one. We can very well schedule this one. So once when you schedule it, it will keep on running. So supplies will be sensed with order management actually. Oh God! It has ended up in a warning now. I don't know what is it now. We will not see whether the sales order sends the supply or not. Update or close? You know, this one. This is ended in the warning. Oh God! Is there any parameter for this now? Should we make concurrent? Click on OK now. There is no parameter now. But even then, it has ended the warning. We will not see whether the sales order sends it or not. I click on it. We will not go there. Now reservation has failed now. So keep your cursor on this now. I go there. So you go there. You go to the actions. And then first of all, you go to the fulfillment lines now. And keep your cursor on the fulfillment lines. Not an orchestration plan. And go there. Click on it. We will know good actions, and then we will know reserve it now. Fine. So reservation has failed now. Fine. The message type is what? Reservation has failed now. So create reservation has failed. So now you keep your cursor on the fulfillment line. Select it, and then what happens? Good actions, and then you can now initiate a reserve. And click on it. You can initiate so many things now. You can unschedule it, reschedule it. Everything you can do it. So actions, and then what happens? You know, go to initiate the reservation. So click on reservation. So supply updates can be done. Click on reserve now. Now your process will be running, and then what happens? Or you can even record the process also. By recording the process, it will again go, and then it will not do it now. And now I know explicitly done a reservation. Now click on OK now. So the, 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 this has to go. Click on refresh now. It has to go. It's now gone now. So if you go to the orchestration plan, and then see this, it will be progressing further. Reservation has started. So click on it. It will now go to the waiting schedule. Reservation started. It is now resolved. So in the fulfillment lines, there are plenty of actions are there. You can even change the scheduled ship date now. And click on it. In the action, what happens? We can even change the scheduled ship date or something like that. I have seen it now. When we the schedule, it will now come. When you click on the schedule now. If you click on the schedule, we can even change the schedule. We will now have a look at it a bit later now. The schedule ship date, uh, everything can be changed over. Now we will now create our own uh, no reservation do now. Fine, go there. Click on it. Reservation. If you wanted the sales order to behave like what we have in EBS now, fine. Now it has gone to waiting shipping. What in EBS it doesn't check the stock at all. In which case, what happens? We can very well uh, what happens? Customize this now. So we'll not customize this now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I'll go to the manage orders. I'll not give it done now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. <clears throat> go there. Now let us now customize this do for no reservation. Click on it. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Now go to the setup and maintenance. Now I'm going to customize the do for no reservation actually. Click on it. Go there. And then here, I will now go to search, manage, process, ORC, orchestration, DF, orchestration process definition. I think orchestration will come up. I manage orchestration process definition. Manage orchestration, yeah, orchestration process. I will now open up my generic do now, and then I will now customize it. I'm going to click on it. So do is the one. I'm going to customize it. <clears throat> so click on search now. It will be coming now. So you know that. So I will now choose the generic one, and then uh, we have not done the customization of what uh, sales, submit sales order process. Now fine. Oh no no, there's something sales something like that is not starting up. So this one I will now duplicate. I had actions so I'm going to duplicate now. So generic or process I'm going to customize. I'm going to customize generic process. I'm going to click on it. I will now say uh, custom do. It has to begin with the custom do, and then here I will now say no reservation. No. Reservation. Custom do no reservation. You take a copy of it and then put in the process name now. So here I'm going to do only one modification. The reservation I'm going to bypass now. When the create reservation is there, now in this line, what happens? I'm going to bypass. I've forgotten that about where to do it now. And create reservation. Let me try. I'm going to create reservation. In this place, right, right, click and find over that on it. Reserve reserve is coming somewhere. I'll create inventory reservation. So in this reservation, what happens? I go there, drop it down. I will now say 
uh, I will not cancel inventory reservation. Right? Instead of create reservation, what happens? I will not make only one change of what? Cancel reservation. So instead of creating, what happens? I going to cancel it. Now. Cancel inventory reservation. I am not modifying which. There are plenty of things are there and the rule. I will not run a video on how to create your rule. I will not tell you. It's such a tough task. You cannot do it. Fine. And maybe Vignesh can do it because youngsters can also very quickly go it. And whether create reservation or not, go that click on it. And then I am not doing it. I create inventory reservations. Cancel inventory reservation. That's it now. Fine. Go that. You are saved now. I made only one change. You are saved. And then let me validate. And then what happens? Release and then deploy. Go to actions and then go to validate now. First of all, let us validate. Instead of creating inventory reservation, I have made a cancel reservation. So the orchestration process must nature is a special character. It can contain only letters and numerals. What is this here? What is the special character there? Custom do, no reservation. There is no special characters. No? Where is the special character now? Oh, he can, the space is not acceptable, basically. Yeah, you need to have underscore. Yes, yes I remember that. Space is not acceptable. <laughs> you were saved. And then we'll now validate it now. That is considered as a special character. I'm going to actions and go to validate now. Space is not acceptable. Is that what I mean? Is that nonsense validation now? <laughs> we have to bypass all these things. Go to actions and then what happens? Go, go to the release now. Validate, release, and then deploy. Validate, receive, and then deploy. So download is not required. Fine. They will not download and then analyze actually technically. No, the release on that will not deploy. Click on deploy process. Validate deploy. And that will now be the password. Fine. They will be given. Click on deploy. The target port and other things are there. Host is, we can also give it in a different host. That's what our team was saying, one technical guy was saying. We can even export it to some other instance also. That's what he's saying. Is it came successful, na? I think it has done. And give a save and close now. Fine. It is not deployed. So give a cancel now. Now we will now go to what? Uh, manage percentage, sales percentage, order percentage. Sales percentage, order percentage. Sales percentage, order percentage. So here go there. Manage pre uh, process assignment rules for sales order. So manage percentage, sales percentage, order percentage. Manage process assignment rules for sales order. We will now create a new one for bypassing the reservation. And click on create new rule now. I will now give the name now. There's a no reservation. So it's a no. Go there, click on OK. Here, if then else is a very powerful tool, we have to know the conditions which you can write now. Right? That's what it is. So, if you can write, you can do wonders actually. That's what they say. This is a very powerful tool actually. Now, I will not say uh, order type, not time. Order type. Order type, order header is equivalent to, I go there. I will not say no reservation. We already created the order type. I'm going to click on OK now. So, K and no reservation. Now, you click on the then and then give a do now. Click on then. And then give a do now. I will not change the process name. I only only know one thing: <laughs> process name. The process name. I will not change it. What go there? I will not say no reservation. Custom do no reservation. That's it. Fine. Go there. The rule is now created. Now fine. Click on it. I will not give a save and close. And then I will not activate it. And then publish it now. So no reservation. Let me activate it now. Activate the rule with a start date now today. <clears throat> I don't know because date is sometimes very sensitive, and so I am giving the date now. And we save and close now. Now the green color will come. Click on publish. Now we don't have sufficient quantity, but there will now be interface to shipping execution. You can see now. Fine, now directly it's published. Actually. We will now go on and get an order now. Fine, click on the now. We don't have any quantity on this now. Fine, go there. Click on it. Done. I will now create a sales order for 3000 quantities. Now. Fine, click on done. It will now coolly go and then get interface to shipping. K99. Okay, Custom one now. So it's a K99 underscore STD. I will now go for 3000 quantities. We don't have a soft, but it will now get coolly interfaced into shipping execution. Click on add now. Because reservation is now bypassed. Click on, Click on supply now. And then go there. Warehouse is K99. Child one now. And then I will now submit this now. It's for 3000 quantities now. I'm submitting it. So click on OK. Go to actions and then here switch to from view. So here what I'm going to go there. So go for that and then click on this one. 
So scheduling is now started. Now reservation, you don't, you know, reserve. Now you know, see what happens now. Click on refresh. Now the reservation is already bypassed. Right? It's now cancel reservation for us. Now. The workflow has got changed to cancel reservation now. Scheduled, and then you can now see what the message is now coming. Reservation has started now. It has to say it's not applicable or something like that. Oh God, I have forgotten to, what happens, I put the order type now. <laughs> this will fail actually. Reservation will fail now. Man. I have forgotten to put the order type actually. I have forgotten to put the order type. You go to the order management, and then you go to the order management, and then let them create an order now. I have to forgot to put the order type actually. K99 custom. I have not dropped the order type and then make it as a no reservation. Then only it will fire. So no reservation. This transaction I'm using it now. Click on it. So K99 underscore DSTD and then do a tab now. I will now go for 3,000 bond days now. Click on it. So click on it. I'm going to go to the supply. K99. And then there's a custom one now. So child one now. I know that's not it. And then I'm now submitting. It is now getting submitted now. So it is with the reservation. No reservation now. If you're putting a transaction type, that will not drive the entire sales order in a different workflow. So click on it now. So the error message is already come. It's now saying reservation is not possible. Create inventory reservation is failed. In this case, it will not fail. And go to the actions and then switch to fulfillment view now. So here you go there and then hover over it now. Go down and then click on the underline of this now. Now scheduled is not completed. If I click on it now, my reservation is not started. Now it has to say it has to, it is not applicable or something like that. Some message will be coming now. Some message will be coming. So it started. <clears throat> it is not applicable. Reservation is not applicable and then the ship will be starting now. So if you wanted to process the sales order less like in EBIS, we have to customize a do and then attach it to your transaction type and then put the transaction type on the header before processing it. Now it will not exactly behave like EBIS. Now it is for the shipment team to take care of whatever they went to ship now. So you will now book the sales order irrespective of whether we have a stock or not with a no reservation transaction type and then allow the what happens the shipping team to take care of it. It is now going to awaiting shipping. Vignesh, is it clear? Okay, sir. So tomorrow I will now show you about how to customize this workflow in a, in a uh, we are not done only small changes in the customization actually. In reality, what happens will be huge actually. It will be very big now. It is not an easy one. So you want to insert a line itself now, like create a reservation, what happens if you are going to insert it. So tomorrow we'll now begin with that. And then afterwards I'll show you how difficult it is. Writing a do is not an easy task. It's a very tough task. Ram, it's clear? Mm. Okay, I will now stop the recording now. <clears throat>